Hi, my name is Eric, and today I will be explaining how to solve this question. So, when we look at this equation, we can see there's a pattern. If we put it into groups, three hundred and fifty-seven plus brackets, three hundred and fifty-four minus three hundred and fifty-one plus ellipsis plus three hundred minus two hundred and ninety-seven. So. The, these are the groups and we can also see the result of each group is always 3. So, the easier way to find out the answer to this question is if we found, find out how many groups there are because the result is always 3 so we multiply them by 3. So, how do we find out how many groups? Well, First, let's use the first number of each group as the group's representative. And then we find the, the first representative's difference with the last representative, which is the big difference. And then we divide it by two neighbouring representatives. So we will use 360 minus 354 as this is the gap. And then we must add one. So why would we add one? Well, let's think of it as a line of trees. This is a line of trees. So the first one we had was 360 and the last one was 300. And so the gap is 6. And so how many gaps are there? Well, um, what we did over here, we found out um, the total. Then we can we can divide it by six, which is this is sixty divided by six, which is ten. So there are ten gaps, but there are eleven trees. So there are eleven trees, and so let's simplify this equation and make it say 11 trees instead equals 60 divided by 6 plus 1 then multiply by 3 equals 11 multiplied by 3 11 is how many groups we have and 3 is the result of each group. So the answer is 33. This is how we do this question. There are many other questions related to this question. But the easiest way to do all of those questions is like this. So we first sort them into groups. Then we always use the first number as the representative. And then we find the difference between the first representative and the last representative. And then divided by the two neighbouring representatives. And always add one multiplied by the result of each group. Then simplify it and get the answer. Thank you.